Hey guys, I go by the name of Doubtfire and you probably clicked on this video because you're either curious what this video is about or you join a Fortnite game and you get kicked out, sent back to the lobby and then you have an error message that like pops up saying that there's a problem, failed to connect to network backend services and that it's possible that a firewall may be the cause. So I'm going to go ahead and do some steps that I had to do to basically get my game back running. And as always, if this video helped you out, please drop a like. If you want, hit the subscribe button. Do whatever your heart desires, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So what you want to do first is go search up Notepad, open it up in your apps, and go ahead, run it as an administrator. And right here, my screen is black because it's just like prompting the question to confirm. So we have Notepad here, so you can either file open or hit Control and O. And then you are under Windows System 32, and you just want to scroll down to Drivers. And then there's this folder called ETC or etc. And so right here you can't see any files. So on the right over here, we're going to go ahead and look at all files. And then you're going to see a file that is labeled as hosts. So you want the one, if you have different types, you want the one um, on the right hand side that like isn't my iCalendar. So you want to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to go ahead and see like this little text box. All you want to do is just simply erase it and close out and then make sure you hit save. The next step you could do is go type in like the search bar, look up Windows Defender Firewall, and then you're going to come up to this like screen where you want to go ahead, click over here, and then search up like Fortnite, make sure you hit the change settings and just scroll down until you see Fortnite. And then just make sure it's the public is like unchecked and then you should be good to go. Make sure you go ahead, restart your game anyways for all this to like take effect and then your game should be working and you'll be able to play Fortnite again. Like I said, this video helped you out. Please drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.